Good afternoon. My name is John Gilkison, and I uh, just drew up this lighting clade uh, for a video I promised you earlier on. And uh, so I need to explain it. Now, what we have here are four clades, and they kind of look like Christmas tree ornaments. And on the left hand side, you're going to see dates all the way from 1740 up until 2020. And the four lighting sources we're discussing here is whale oil, then kerosene, and then incandescence, and then on the far right side is fluorescence. Now I didn't do LED lighting because it's really just now taking off. So its inflection point would probably be the year 2015. Um, but it's going to replace incandescence and fluorescence ultimately. So let's discuss why these lighting clades look the way they do. Um, initially when a new uh, technology in lighting or any other kind of technology is introduced into a marketplace. It, uh, it has very few adherence to it. And finally, that's the bottom line is straight. But then finally it begins to take off and more and more people adopt it. And let's say in the case of whale oil, you see it reaches a shoulder up there at the top, at the very top, 1850. And then it begins to decrease in the amount of people using the technology while the new technology is beginning to increase. And that's where you, you draw a line from the shoulder over to the next technology and you'll see that it's beginning to take off and more and more people are beginning to adopt it. And so that's the case with kerosene. And it kind of reached... Uh, a saturation point around 1900, where whale oil reached its heyday around 1850. And uh, these aren't hard and fast numbers. I'm basically just trying to give you a feel for how this would work. So um, the electric lamp was invented in the 1880s, and you know it required a grid and everything else for it to take off, but uh, so the inflection point is a little different, but by the year 1980 is when I draw it as peaking out, and that's when compact fluorescents were introduced. Um, again, none of these are hard and fast rules. If we ha actually had a year-by-year -year population sample for the number of people using different technologies and how many units they use and so forth, these actual lighting clades would probably look uh, quite a bit different. But anyway, you get the general idea here. And then finally you have fluorescence, which were invented in 1979. And they had slow market penetration, but then they begin to take off as incandescence declined. And, uh, and then in 2015, I figure they were saturated they're really cheap to buy now, but less and less people are using them because LED is a better buy. So I've also marked on here some of the pertinent points, which we'll go over. And we have all these fuel oil sources are 80 watts per lumen. LED lamps are 6400 to 88 times, 8800 times more energy efficient than kerosene. That'd be 2,130 to 2,930 times more efficient factor in the grid losses. And over here we have LE, excuse me, you have incandescence, which is 6 to 17 lumens per watt. They're 480 to 1,360 times more efficient than kerosene, 160 to 450 times more efficient factoring in the grid losses. And then finally we have Fluorescence, which is 35 to 
60 lumens per watt. Yeah. 2800 to 4800 times more efficient than kerosene. 930 to 1600 times more efficient than kerosene factoring in the grid losses. Um, fluorescents were originally invented in the 1930s. They probably didn't start achieving good market penetration until after um, World War II. And they were primarily used in businesses and not so much in homes up until probably the late uh, 1980s, early 1900s when compact fluorescents begin to come in. So I'll leave you there. And this is what a lighting clade looks like. Bye now.